move the scanner to the end of the sample and notice the B scan is displayed live. When the scan is complete, we can tap the measurement icon here. to display the A scan graph option. We can see a side by side view of both the A and B scan graphs. Tapping a point on the B scan shows the corresponding A scan for that point. The distance traveled, amplitude, and thickness of each point is displayed on the top of the screen. As with the B scan, the C scan window can be opened from the main menu or in the A scan mode by tapping the C icon. Tap the settings icon to open the C scan settings window. It contains three tabs. First is our scan axis that allows us to set up our start point which is zero, our length of seven inches, resolution of fifty thousandths, and again a speed if I were using an automated scanner. The index axis tab allows me to again set up a start point again at zero, length of three inches, resolution in this case of 250 thousandths and again our automated scan speed. The save tab allows me to save same data, time of flight, amplitude, waveform and acquire data at a high rate of speed. I close this menu out and as before either tap the green light icon to start my scan or by pressing the start button on the keypad. Unlike the B scan, the C scan requires multiple passes of data. The scan will automatically stop when it has reached the limit of its envelope, which we previously set, of 7 by 3 inches. When the scan is complete, we can tap the measurement icon here. And again, by tapping the A scan graph option, we can see a side-by-side -side view of the A scan and the C scan. Tapping a point on the C scan shows the corresponding A scan, the distance traveled of both X and Y, and the thickness which is displayed at the top of the screen. Now that we have our data stored in our pocket UT, we can do further analysis on your computer. To open up the program, we double click the UTWIN icon, which then opens up our program to the screen that looks like this. At this point, we take our compact flash card and plug it into our compact flash reader to view the data. I go up to the top of the screen and click on replay. Since I'm opening C-scan data, I will come down and highlight open C-scan data. At this point, 
the computer asks me where do I want that data to come from. I click up, come down to my removable disk, and now here's all of my data. I go to the particular piece of data that I want to look at, and I double click. It now opens up a C-scan screen. At this point, I can move this around by right-clicking and putting my Windows titles. Now I can move and resize the C-scan. At the bottom of the C-scan, it's showing this is an amplitude scan. This particular C-scan that I want to view is a thickness or time of flight. I click on the amplitude and click on time of flight. And now we can see the areas of corrosion from the scan I took from the Pocket UT. At this point I can open up other screens. If I want to view the A scan, I can right click and open a plot graph. Now it opens up my A scan graph and I can again resize this graph. And as I put my cursor across my C scan, it shows the corresponding A scan that goes along with that reading. I can also open up a B scan, move my cursor off of the C scan, right click my mouse, open up a new image graph, and go down to my lowercase B scan image and click. Down at the bottom you can see this is also an amplitude scan. I want to view the time of flight. And now I have to do one more step, right click on the graph, Go up to Graph Setup and push Fit View and close this out. Now I can resize my B scan and now any line of data that I'm looking at that my cursor is on going in this direction, I can now view the B scan on the bottom. One more piece of data is I can set up a data table, which will give me a list of thickness readings for known points on the C-scan. Right-click again, a new table, C-scan data table. Again, this data table is in amplitude. I want to change it to time of flight. So now I'm getting thickness data. So now, anywhere that my cursor is placed, you will notice down at the bottom part of the screen, the green number is where the cursor is, blue is the thickest area, red is going to be the thinnest area. And you notice how that changes over an area of corrosion and an area of good material. One final step, what do I do with this data? I can now take all of the data from my C-Scan. I click on the C-Scan. I go up to the Excel icon and click it. What this will allow me to do is open up all this data in a color-coded Excel spreadsheet. I choose C-Scan data. I also choose set cell background color. I now export this to Excel. Now Excel opens up a color-coded spreadsheet that gives all of my data this can then be printed out to go along with 
your C-scan data for a full document. Now that I have the screen set up the way I want it for all presentations, I can save this as a project. I go up to File, go down to Save Project As, and I name the file. I'm going to store this project on my desktop. And let's name this project. I hit save. And now every time I open up this program and open up a C-Scan, it will open up the C-Scan map here, A-Scan data, B-Scan, and the data table.